So I thought I'd just go for bowling and chambada, but I'm going to go for soccer as well. A little bit of football here. I don't have a full dedicated team or anything. Just going in single player and seeing how well it goes. I'm curious to see what rules it's going to give me as well. Probably just like, soccer. hey, play for four minutes and call it a day, which, you know, is totally fine. Um, I'm glad they have everything on a timer. If you saw it up in the corner there, they're like, hey, you have 15 seconds to... to register your controllers and get active no dilly dallying no people that are like oh well i gotta go take a walk for the dog and i gotta you know uh, heat up my hot pockets in the microwave which has been two excuses people have used when playing fortnite with me in the past so it's unacceptable my name is brian saviano bricks o'brien hello i hope you're doing as well as you can given everything that's going on and i did not mean to launch it that far away, but clearly it played out. <laughs> clearly it played out in uh, in favor a little bit here, so that's great. Um, let's see here. Everybody does not know how to play this game at all. There we go. You do not know how to play, Naomi. You need to run. You need to run as if you were running away from all the fears you have about asking that pretty girl out at prom. You gotta run away. But not from the pretty girl, but from the ball. There's two different things, okay, Eduardo? You gotta be you gotta be assertive, not aggressive. You gotta just be assertive. You know, you just gotta you gotta walk up. You gotta say, hey, I'd like to I'd like to see what you're like at, at, at prom. We could dance. We could have some uh, mac and cheese bites together on the dance floor, that sort of a thing. You know? And then you get the goal. It's soccer in Switch Sports Resort. Is a metaphor for prom. That's all that it is. You just gotta, you just gotta walk up to it. You gotta, you gotta shoot the shot, and then you're good. You know. So, life, uh, pro gamer tips, I should say. Pro gamer tips, in uh, in any sport, in <laughs> any way, shape, and form. You can take that, take that uh, key life advice beyond just switch sports in general. And there we go. Just like that. Come on. It would have been great if I had actually got that, but I did not. There we go. Is that in? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Stellar. So that was unfortunately all me. Uh, soccer is one of those games you do not want to play just solo. You want to play with uh, the entire team at the helm here. So, um, wow, that worked out. I think there's a little bit of internet lag there because that person should have been able to spot that ball and knock that right back. No problem. And uh, I believe if we score this goal here, then, ooh, that was not good. Um, I believe if we score that- where's Jake going? What are we doing? What are we doing? You just walk past- okay. Clearly there's a little bit of lag, okay? There's no reason that Jake couldn't have walked up or jumped up for that ball and rebounded it off of there. No excuses, okay? You just gotta open those eyes and pay attention a little bit, you know? But maybe it'll be a, a bowling situation where round two, there'll be much more uh, fearsome opponents in the way, you know? Yeah, clearly, clearly something's up because they should have hit that ball immediately. But anyways, I'm gonna do this, back over here, back over there. That's gonna be in. Oh, so close. Who's on the other side? Nobody. Literally nobody is here. Gotta love when you, when you, you know, get the phone and there's nobody to answer the call. You gotta love, gotta love this. Jake, you are the defender. You gonna do anything here, man? You gonna meow it out with me? Okay, clearly, <laughs> clearly, uh, who's this, Daisuke? Yeah, not, uh, not, not paying attention here. Okay, cool. Thank you, Naomi, for, for being awake, being awake at the steering wheel instead of, uh, Falling asleep. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep while while driving, while in the shower, while you're while you're preparing a meal. Don't fall asleep while you have a candle on. Also, pro gamer tip: Don't do that. That's a a, a notable thing because you, you never know what might happen if you leave a candle on. Right? Uh, you might be in a situation where there could be a stray piece of paper. That, that goes onto the candle, and, and then the candle sets the piece of paper on fire, and then all of a sudden you got a nice campfire in your home. You don't want that, you know what I mean? 
You don't want that, and that's going to be the game right there. So we won only by the skin of our teeth. I got, I think, two of the three goals. So I don't want to say it was mostly me, but it was definitely in a good helping from me. So definitely going to hop into another game real quick. I have the pink hair now. I'm on the team with Andrew, Volith, and Mate Marius. Mateus? Mateo? Marius? Um, we got a Keyblade over here, Shadow, Mortem, DY, cool, alright. Well, maybe the pink hair will bring me a little bit more, um... Actually, no, I did pretty well last time, I don't necessarily need to bring, uh, more heat. I gotta bring the same level of heat all the way through. But, uh, the thing about soccer, and this, the same kind of rules apply really to Rocket League, is you kinda wanna have a, a relative- where are you? Just tossing that ball, alright. You want to kind of stay back. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, you kind of want to stay back. Oh my goodness, what a goal. Wait. Is that it right there? That's it right there. Beautiful. Look at that. Um, I think it, like, it felt like there was an assist somewhere in there. I, it didn't feel like I was the one who did all that. Uh, let's see here. It was... Yeah, Volley just did not hit the ball. I did, so that's fine. Maybe a little bit inter like, internet lag there. Um, you should be able to get that much. Oh. Okay, so Mattias has a little bit of a lag, clearly. Uh, this is not like Mario Strikers where you can- <laughs> where you can hit the other players, so that is not a th- Wow! Wow, look at that! Beautiful! That was a beautiful shot, wow. Yeah, this is not like, uh, Mario Strikers where you can, uh, you can hit other players and toss them into the- <laughs> The electrical fence, which you may say, Brian, that's very morbid. Why would you say toss somebody into an electrical fence? It's literally what you do in Mario Strikers. <laughs> it's literally precisely what you do in every way, shape, and form. So blame Nintendo for that one. They they allow that sort of stuff to happen here. That's not what I wanted to do also, but clearly that's what's in the cards over here. All right, and that's going to be maybe a goal. No, not quite a goal. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been awesome. So basically, defense is going to be key here. Um, let's see. Ooh, that was a lot of lag. That was not something I could control, though. That was a good chunk of lag on that section there. Mateus. Or Matias? Yeah, it is Matias. Pulling their weight here. I got to recharge my stamina. Does it go faster if I stand still? It probably does. There we go. Knock that back and watch it go. There it is. Yeah. All right. So the, the internet ping is in my favor. Beautiful. What's gonna happen here? Bully is gonna launch it to Uzbekistan for literally zero reason whatsoever. But I'm gonna let them knock this back over this way and then rebound it. Because they're absolutely gonna kick it just like that. There we go. And they're not even gonna expect it. Not even gonna expect it. Not even gonna- There it is. <laughs> not quite what I wanted there, but there's nobody else at the goal. So that's a little bit of a problem here. So maybe I should be the one to take the... the back section here, right? Uh-huh. There we go. Just to get it out of the way. Because at this point here, it's defense, it's stalling, right? Nope, that's not what we wanted, man. You were gonna toss it into the side. It's not what we want right now. We want that, yes. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, very intense, but I, I don't think there's any way they can get that. Yeah, there's no way. So I'm just going to stand here, let this all happen. There's zero chance. Actually, wait, hold on. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just ki Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh! I, s I said there was no chance. Clearly there is, but it makes it more interesting. Makes it a lot more interesting. So does that mean tie? No, it's got to go in overtime. Has to go in overtime. Right? Yep. One, zero, extra time. Oh, first goal wins. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Which, that's how it works in Rocket League as well. I think Keyblade kind of gave up over here. So they are down technically one player. This guy, this guy didn't even care. Doesn't even care about what's going on here, man. Doesn't even care. I... What am I doing? Doesn't even matter a little bit. Wow. Okay. 
There we go. I, I did not do anything right there because I want to recoup my stamina. I want to get some time away from the ball. All right. Uh, just like this. There it is. Beautiful. Just launch it back over toward that way. I need to stay away, basically. Andrew's got that. Where are you shooting the ball, my guy? Launching it all the way over here. Vully is not prioritizing their, uh, their stamina accordingly here. All right. Yep, and that's going to happen here. I can't even tell where exactly it was going to go. Andrew was there as well. Uh, you almost want to never have two goalies either. Pro gamer tip there, because it gets confusing. You can't properly communicate where people are going to um, be when the ball lands, so you don't want to be in a situation. There we go. Um, where, you, where you have two goalies. You just, you don't... What? That's not what I wanted to do. Um... I can get this, I can get this, I got it, I got it, I got it. Do I have it? Do I have it? And... Ooh! Otso, Otso! What are we doing? What are we doing, everybody? You can't not hit the ball. You gotta, you gotta either commit to hitting the ball or not hit the ball. Gotta do something, you know? Alright. There we go, back over toward here. That's not good. That's, I guess, good, okay. Ooh, launched it way over toward that way. I, I love the physics of this soccer, like, minigame, basically. Um, there we go. I love the- I love the physics of it. Like, I love the way the ball moves and everything else, it's- it's great. Volley, that's not what we needed right there. That's not what we needed. Okay. I really have to recover my stamina, man. I really do. Oh, that's not what I wanted either. That's it right there. Oh, that's game. Dang. Yeah, that's that. There was no way I was gonna, no way I was gonna go for it. I tech, that technically constituted as an own goal. Ouch, all right. Whoops, some way, somehow, but hey, defeated on that one, but that's okay. It was a good uh, match in general. So I'm gonna play obviously another one because that ended uh, relatively quickly. I have on my team, Cat, Dog, Cronus, Eternal, Yoshi, and Gray. And with the, the, the style and swagger that we have on this team, there is not a chance we're going to lose. Or at least that's the idea. Another three-minute match, uh, an alleged three-minute match. It could go far longer than that, but we shall see here. Um, hopefully you're doing all right. I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in there. I had a, uh, a cold brew iced coffee earlier today. Oh my goodness, that's a... Can I get a goal over here? Yes, indeed. Look at that. Not a bad way to start that off. Less than 30 seconds into the, the first goal. It was what? To a 15? Not even 15 seconds. 13 seconds. Beautiful. Excelente. All right. Oh, you're going to toss that back here. And I'm going to toss it down low so I get more distance on it. But then you're going to rebound. Just like after a poorly ended relationship, you got you to gotta, gotta bounce back. You got to rebound a little bit, you know? You got to pick yourself up off the ground and meow it out, you know? Just like... Uh, Elisa is doing. Ooh, that was a spicy one. This is all very spicy right here. I'm going to lurk behind here. And just watch from a distance as I recover my stamina. And ooh, that would have been really great if I had got the headway on that one. But no. So I've been, I've been looking forward, actually, to the weather. I know I've said in many videos before, if the only thing you talk about in your videos, or in general for conversation, is weather, then you're leading a really boring conversation. And, uh, I don't know what just happened there. That's a goal. Beautiful. Um, but at this point here, how, how, what degrees is it outside? 56 degrees? It feels a lot warmer than that. I am so overdue for a, like, 95 degree weather, not 100 degree, but like, just super, super hot outside, um, very humid, whatever sort of a day. I want it to be summertime so badly. I'm so excited for summertime. I really want to do a lot this summer, both for um, traveling, for videos, for relaxation, for everything. I want to be as well optimized as I can be as a human being to enjoy this summer to the best of my ability. Which, um, I'm kinda, kinda for, forecasting what I wanna do, man. I wanna do a, um, a new and- Ooh, that would've been great. Um, a new and improved Mario Sunshine 
playthrough. So if you're excited about that, let me know by any means of the internet if you're watching this, man. Um, I really want to replay Mario Sunshine in the 3D uh, All-Stars collection. That would have been a spicy goal. But I want to do that because my previous Mario Sunshine playthrough that was at 100% was done um, kind of inconsistently. It was in like 16 by 9 ratio and then 4 by 3 and it was just really weird. So to, to go back to it and to, uh, where am I going? Um, but to do it in high definition, full high definition with the, the 3D collection there, that'd be awesome. So I'm looking forward to doing that and hold on. There we go. Got to bounce it back. That worked out very nicely. Um, but unfortunately, I have... Um, I was in the red for stamina there. Don't want to allow that. Don't want to be in debt with stamina. But uh, there's also Mario Strikers coming out. But there's nothing happening in July. There's literally nothing in general happening in, happening in July. I was kind of shocked. Like, there's uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but that's anime. And you know how your boy feels about those anime uwu games. So I'm not necessarily uh, itching in my boots to play that, but that's uh, that's totally fine. Got the victory there, but I want to play one more because that ended relatively quickly. Not much of a contention there. I, I did get another level up here. Very likely, right? Yeah, absolutely. Got another one there. So, yeah, I guess I'll just go with this, even though I don't really care about this giant pink uh, cute sword. So, whatever. Another round of, uh, soccer. We have somebody who's a fan of soccer balls, Catboy, and Brandon on the team. And then I'm facing off against Dr. Shock, Aetherstorm, Matt, and somebody else. Cool. So, uh, recently, as part of my, um, going away and not really, um, doing anything, that was spicy. Um, I ended up going to see Dr. Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. The newest, you're going to be very aggressive. I was going to say, you look like you know what you're doing. Oh, these people know what they're doing. Uh-oh. This is going to be bad. It's going to be very bad. Um, but I went to go see that, and that was very scary. So if you are uh, not... Oh, jeez. Uh, if you're not a fan of... Um, you could have allowed that to hit the ball there. Come on. You could have done something spicy. But uh, if you are a younger viewer of these videos, do not go see that movie. It is relatively scary by every which way imaginable. Please, thank you. These people know what they're doing. This is going to be good. Um, a very intense match. Hopefully it goes 0-0 zero, zero the whole way and it gets very, yeah, spicy the whole way through. But uh, come on, Conk. You got it. There we go. Come on, Brandon. You totally messed up that. You could have had something. Ooh, 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 okay. Come on. Come on, back over toward this way. Nice, you missed out on it, tenacious. And it looks like soccer ball may have it. Yes, you do. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, it was scary. So yeah, if you're a younger viewer, don't go see Doctor Strange. There are some key moments that are like, not jump scary, but just kind of tense and very like, oh, uh, and you're just not really feeling it. What a bizarre goal that was. Yeah, so so don't go see it. Um, I am uh, not a fan of horror type things, uh, jump scares, gore, things like that. Not a fan of that. So there were some moments of the movie where I was like, oh, is this gonna be a this gonna be a jump scare? Should I be concerned about that or anything? Um, but overall, it was it was fine for someone my age, but definitely not for like an eight-year-old, which, you know, some people told me, like, yeah, I wish I did not bring my eight-year-old to this movie. So, uh, yeah, I feel like 13, 14, 15, you know, it's, I think it's, I think it's PG-13 for a reason, so that reason is, um, you know, very apparent in the movie when you do end up going to see it, so keep that in mind if you're curious. Conk, you, oh, if you had stamina! Dude, if you had stamina, you would have been great! You would have been great! Alright, you're gonna try to Nope. Oh my goodness. I tried to predict it. Try to get the read on there. There it is. All right. Just got to keep the distance. Social distance. But I enjoyed it. It was. I saw it super late at night. It started at like 10 o'clock, which actually is not really late. It's late for um, most people to start to see the movie. But uh, I saw it. And yeah, it was. There was a lot going on in a good way. There we go. Um. Lots to unpack in terms of the multiverse and all that. And it's worthwhile to watch if you're of age to, to go see it. 
and uh, you don't mind some scary things every once in a while here. I don't know what you're doing, Ether Storm. I say I had no clue, not a clue what was going on at all. All right, yeah, there's uh, not a chance they score on this one, so that's another easy victory there. I'm just gonna play another one. Do you mind if I play another one? You probably don't mind. I'm I I wanna I wanna get more gear and stuff. You know, these are going quick. One more time, we have Barbara Su Supaki and Noah Miner. And then against everybody else, too. So I also have... Oh, you can switch out the reactions eventually. Okay, so there's like some emojis along with this stuff above here. Gotcha. All right. So, yeah, as I was saying before, it was good. You know, I don't really want to go into spoilers or anything like that in case somebody is watching and they're like, Hey, I haven't seen it yet or I don't really want to be spoiled or anything like that. It is relatively soon after the movie has come out. Um, if you're a super diehard Marvel fan, you normally wait like, what, two weeks after the movie comes out before you do, you know, discussion of the movie itself. Because normally if you're, uh, if you're a diehard fan of the thing, you'll normally um, see it within the first two weeks, you know? So that's uh, typically what ends up happening. So I'm not gonna talk about it too super in depth, but yeah, they do a lot of things with uh, multiverse that are really cool. Um, that was a bad idea. Um, the only thing that I wanted to say and, and comment on with the movie, which I found super interesting, but doesn't really, it doesn't spoil the movie in any way, so I don't mind, uh, I don't mind saying it here, but a, an interesting way that they tackle, uh, what dreams are is, is super interesting. So there's a point in the movie, super early on, where Doctor Strange is like, Oh, I saw these events unfold in a dream. You're just, this is just a dream. And then they're like, no, uh, that was unfortunate, but whatever. Um, this is not a dream or that was not a dream. That was another universe you were looking at. So it's interesting that of all the science that has unfolded today, of all um, the incredible things that have happened in this world, scientists still don't really technically understand what uh what what dreams are or why they happen or anything like that at all um and the way that they explain it in multiverse of madness is like when you're when you're seeing something in your dreams that is your view into another universe which i thought was super cool like a very interesting way of explaining it obviously for the lore of marvel that was almost a self goal right there almost it was close um but I thought it was super cool that they described it in that way. So, is that true? I mean, technically, we don't know. Like, that could be true. You never know. But, like, um, at least for the lore of Multiverse of Madness, that was what it was all about. So, super interesting in that way. I nearly had it. Whoops, that was bad. So, they explained that super early on. Again, that's not really a spoiler. That's not a spoiler in any way. But, uh, yeah. So... When you're dreaming, just think like, wow, this is me if I were in another uh, universe, you know? There's the theory, not to get super existential with aliens and all that stuff, but basically, it's like, hey, there's like, basically, oh, wow. I didn't realize that goal was right there. Um, there's basically infinite universes that exist out there, so... That's the theory, at least. So there could be an infinite amounts of Bricks O'Briens out there who are, you know, maybe one of them is a chef, one of them is a police officer, one of them is a lazy bum, which is, spoiler alert, the reality of which we live in right now. You're, this is the version of Bricks O'Brien, the lazy bum version. That's the one you're seeing right now. So, you know, there's uh, all sorts of different uh, uh, versions of me that could be out there, which is kind of interesting. And that happens for all of us, all the different types of people that exist in the world. And congratulations, we did it to ourselves. We did it to ourselves. Thanks. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for playing. You just did it to ourselves. Gotta love that. Much appreciated. GG's, Supika. Gotta love your energy and enthusiasm, but clearly... Uh, we're not winning in this universe. So I want to thank you for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me. As always, Chambara is next up on Switch Sports Resort on the Nintendo Wii. All right. Bye.